Today, we're going to set up a Linux virtual machine that is using IPv6 only with IPv4 disabled. So let's get started. So we're going to use a digital ocean uh, for our VM. And we're going to be following some of the documentation here in DigitalOcean IPv6. All right, let's get started. So let's create a droplet. Ubuntu 2404. And let's just pick the lowest tier here. I already have a SSH key set up. Um, but I'm actually going to use a password instead for this for this VM. And the reason to use a password will be clear a little later. <clears throat> In advanced op options, I will enable IPv6. Okay, I think that's it. We just, um, a key setting is to enable IPv6 here at this point. Let's create our droplet. And we're actually going to create another droplet. Um, so this is zero one. And the reason we want to create another droplet is in order to access IPv6, from our IPv4 computer, we're going to go through a droplet that have, will have both IPv4 and IPv6. So this time I will use an SSH key and I will also enable IPv6. And uh, I'll call it tunnel. I'll call it dash T. Creating another droplet. So we've got two droplets being created. Okay, now both of our droplets are created. So we're gonna connect to this one first with a dash T. So we're gonna copy, go to our terminal, and we're gonna SSH root at that IP. Gonna get our uh, SSH key from one password. We're logged in. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect from this droplet to the other droplet where we're gonna enable IPv6 only. So we can actually use our IPv6 address here. So we can do SSH root at IPv6. And it's gonna ask for our password. So we'll provide our password and we're logged in. <clears throat> now we're gonna go to this documentation and look at how to disable uh, IPv4. And it's fairly straightforward. We just need to modify this um, it's in etsy net plan file. Let's go ahead and do that. Nano etsy net plan. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna delete our IPv4 addresses. And for the name server, we need to add our name servers here. That's my password. We'll need to change that. Oops. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, name servers, we're gonna keep going and delete all other IPv4 stuff. Okay, and we're gonna delete this whole interface. All right, so we just got IPv6 stuff left here. And we're gonna save this and exit. Um, so to enable it, we can just do this net plan apply dash dash debug. Okay. Normally IF config will give us the information, but it's not installed. <clears throat> so we can actually install it using IPv6. IF config. IF config. All right, what do we have here? We have our addresses. I actually wanted to do one more thing here. This is also using, we do still have the loopback, um, but we're not gonna be messing with the loopback right now. I did wanna do one more thing. I wanted to add a, a private IPv6 address as well. So we're gonna go back, edit this file. We're gonna add another address here. We're gonna add this address. Let's add a one at the end. Okay, save it. We're gonna apply it again. It doesn't like something. Miss the 64 here, okay. Apply it again. I have config. Okay, so, so you see the other one, the private one is also showing up here. So we got public one, private one. Uh, we get multiple addresses here. Uh, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy a file So we're gonna copy a file called uh, OS. Okay, let's go uh, where I have that file. Work fleet SCP OS query one twenty four uh, to root at. Here, colon, we're gonna, we're using SSH, so we're copying that file. Now we're gonna SSH there. We see this file right here. So we, now we're gonna copy this file to our IPv6 hosts. So we're gonna grab this file and copy it to root at and our IPv6 address. Is this the right address? Copy. And you see I'm doing this uh, escaping here, right? Because uh, the last thing um, in this command line is a colon. So basically I need to escape the IPv6 address here. Okay, let's see. And it's asking me for the Okay, copying. 
Um, we're gonna SSH, is the history still there? Oops, history still there. Password again. And we have this file right here, so we can actually install it. So this is an agent that's gonna check if with the server, so we can get some information from this machine. All right, so it's installed. Uh, it should be running. So let's go see if it's checked in here. Let's reload this. And we have this machine right here. We have this machine right here. It's checked in. It reported our its public IP address. It reported its private IP address. Uh, some additional information, so everything's good.